YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back. And I've done a couple of these videos. A little different this time, but I've done uh, which teams can go from worst to first in the upcoming season, uh, first to last, third to first. And I was deciding between doing second to first or second to last, which we still can do both. I can do a second to last after this one. I thought, you know, if there's fans watching this, they don't really want to know if their team's going to stay at second or go last. You know, they want to know if they can make that jump. So I thought this video was a little more important. We're taking the teams and we're deciding which of these teams have the best chance to go to first place in their division for the upcoming season. Not a power rankings video. You know, sometimes the best team on here isn't the last team standing because you got to look at who's in their division and other factors. Uh, right before we get started, we have a 40K subscriber goal by the end of this year. So we be much appreciate if you guys can subscribe and click that like button. Check out our Twitter. We have daily sports videos here at the Goat House. Full coverage for the NFL in season. Can't wait for that to start. Going to have college football coverage as well. But look at the teams that finished second place in their division last year. Um, so w first we're going to take a team off the board that has the least least likely chances of going to first place. And it's a pretty easy choice, unfortunately, for some fans out there. Got to take the Dolphins off. Got to take them off. I think people are automatically assuming they're going to be the first pick of the draft. I, you know, I'm not on that. You know, I, I, they may struggle this year because they're offense, but I don't think they're that bad. I don't know if they're tanking. It's pretty hard to tank in football, anyways, because they have a pretty solid defense. You know, they could use pass rush, but they got some linebackers. They got a good secondary. Um, but really, to you know, the Jets and the Bills aren't anything special yet. You know, they're heading in the right direction, so they can jump them. But to jump them and to jump the Patriots to go first, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. No matter who's that quarterback, what they do here, so. Um, but they can win some games more than people think. Next team to come off the board. Now, now it's a big gap. You know, Dolphins was pretty easy to choose first, honestly. Uh, but now it's pretty tough. Um, but the next team I would have to take off would have to be would have to be the Seahawks. You know, I'm a big Russell Wilson fan. You know, he's a beast. He's one of the best quarterbacks in football, and he keeps carrying this team to the playoffs. But they keep, I guess going another step closer to it. They're not in a rebuild, but it looks like they're going another step closer to it, but they extend their quarterback, so they're never going to that. It's weird. It's weird. Last year we thought the same thing, and they still make the playoffs, you know, and that's the Seahawks fans out there will say back to me. You know, they, you know, no matter how many people doubt them, every year it looks like they may get worse. Russ keeps getting back to the playoffs. Very true. Very true. But they have to be, they didn't win a division last year. They didn't get first place. So they have to be better than last year, better than the Rams, better than maybe a, a healthy Niners this year, which they can be even if the Niners are healthy. The Cardinals could be a wild card team because I don't know how – some teams are going to struggle to game plan against that offense. But, you know, I'm not saying the Seahawks finished third or fourth, but a lot has to happen. They have to be better than last year when they don't have Frank Clark anymore. I know it's only one player. But they did – I mean, more than one player. Doug Baldwin's done too, but they do get DK Metcalf excited for that. But they have to be last year plus being better, plus being better than the Rams. So hopefully you understand my point there. Um, that it's going to be very tough to go to first place. Not ruling it out, not saying 0% chance. It's low though, very low. Uh, the next team, who am I going to take off here? I mean, all these teams can win their division. All these teams can win their division. Um, it's very possible. I'm going to take, man, even though I think they can very well bounce back, I'm going to take the Steelers off next because that's a good division. You know, even the, the team that's projected to be at the bottom, the Bengals, they, they can have a pretty darn good offense, and they had a lot of young pieces on defense that can step up uh, this year. Maybe it'll take a couple more years, but um, they can be a sneaky team. But I do expect the Steelers to be better than them, but again, it's not guaranteed. You know, it's not easy to be ahead of the Bengals. And then you got to be ahead of the Browns and the Ravens, which is very doable. You know, the young quarterbacks could struggle. The young teams could struggle. But two, I like their coaches. So well-coached teams and very, very talented teams. So Steelers can win that division. It's just going to be a little harder to do it than some of these other teams on here, I think. Uh, the next team coming off the board, real tough here. Um, it's going to be the Falcons. And it's really because one team in their division, you know, Maybe some teams still on the board have multiple teams in their division, but that one team in their division is going to be extremely hard to, to hop over unless some kind of crazy injury happens, and that's the Saints, obviously. So the Falcons got to jump the Saints. You know, being ahead of the, the Bucks isn't a freebie. You definitely expect it. And then being ahead of the Cam Newton and the Panthers, 
definitely isn't a freebie either, even though I do expect the Falcons to be ahead of those two. Just being ahead of the Saints is the tricky part. And, um, you know, they definitely can get back to the playoffs, definitely can be a good team. They're going to have a young offensive line, new offensive line. So, um, you know, how will they play early on? You know, I don't think they'll struggle or anything, but is it going to be enough? So take the Falcons off. They definitely can win their division, but going to be tough. And the next team to come off, I'm going to have to go with the Vikings and another team with a, in a tough division. You know, a year ago we expected them to win that division easy and, and possibly go to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl based, based on their team, um, who's on their roster. I mean, they still got that roster, that talented roster. They can get back. You know, you can't base everything off last year. But you look at the division, who's supposed to be at the bottom? The Lions. And I think the Lions are a pretty good team, well coached. Defense is getting much better. Um, offensive line will be healthy now, so the offense can get going. Some young pieces on there. Uh, and then you got the Packers, who you can't rule out because they have Aaron Rodgers. I think their defense got a little better in, in, in uh, based off last year's draft, a couple of good corners stepping up. And then this offseason, this free agency mainly added some pass rush. Um, so Packers are tough, and the Bears, who were pretty darn dominant last year. So that's why the Vikings come off next, even though they have a really good team. I think it's just a tough, tough division. Three teams remaining. And I'm going to actually take off the team who I think is the best out of all these teams I had on here. And and that's the Chargers because they have the Chiefs in their division. You know, the Chiefs may be the best team in football. And, and the Chargers can, you know, end up, I mean, they can end up winning the division or they can end up finish, finishing second and end up going further and maybe winning the Super Bowl, obviously, over the Chiefs. It would have to be, um, but while still finishing second. So it's going to be tough. I mean, the Raiders and the Broncos aren't a joke anymore, so... Um, that's going to be tough as well. The Chargers, I think highly of. I think they, I think they can win their division. I, I think it's just, it's tough. I'm kind of back and forth on who's winning that division. Um, you know, one week I'm thinking the Chargers, one week I'm thinking the Chiefs. Back and forth on it. I think the Chargers got a much more complete team, maybe the most complete team in football. I like their defense. I think the pass rush is going to be unreal this year. Maybe the best secondary in football. Um, it's just. The Chargers are one of those teams. There's a few teams like that. You just you look at them and they should be good, but they end up starting off a little slow. You know, can can we come go back to that chart? L.A. Chargers. You know, is that going to happen? The San Diego Chargers, I should say. What's going to happen? So there's some doubt, even though I think highly of that team, and they very well can win that division and maybe win a Super Bowl. So we got two teams left, and it's hard. It's hard to take another team off. I almost I almost want to keep both these on because, I man. You look at the Colts, and it's a pretty good division. You know, I don't know if there's an elite team in that division, um, so it's not crazy hard, I guess, for the Colts to win, and they may have to be the favorites right now. But then again, if the Titans stay healthy, and they're a pretty good team, they can make the playoffs if they're healthy. Um, and then you look at the, the Jags. The Jags were in the AFC Championship game two years ago in a battle with the Patriots, almost went to the Super Bowl with Blake Bortles. Now they have Nick Foles. So, realistic, the Jags could be that good. And then you have the Texans, who were capable of going on that streak last year. You got Deshaun Watson, who's getting better and better. You got the best receiver in football. Um, you, know, you got a good pass rush with Clowney and J.J. Watt. Um, so, it's a tough division. It's a tough division, but you know, if Luck's healthy, which you expect him to be, they should be the favorites in that division. And again, I don't think there's an elite team in that division. I guess if the Jags go back to two years ago and Nick Foles plays out of his mind, they can be. Uh, I just don't think there's an elite team in that division, so... It's very realistic they win it. Then you look on the Eagles side. Um, if the Eagles, if Carson Wentz in that offensive line stays healthy, well, more than that, too. The def- Barnett was hurt last year. The secondary was all beat up. If they stay healthy, you know, sometimes in the past we've seen teams that just can't stay healthy. You know, it's just year after year they're getting hurt. Sometimes it's kind of fluky. A lot of the time, really. One year they're beat up. Next year they're good to go. So you could say Eagles, good to go. Wentz will be healthy. If that's the case, they win their division and more and much more. So the Eagles should be the choice here because I think the Redskins got a pretty good team. It's just if the Eagles are fully healthy, the Eagles are playing simple better than them. Cowboys got a good team. That's really the only competition. If the Eagles are fully healthy, the Cowboys are fully healthy. That's a battle, but the Eagles should be the favorites. So the Eagles should be the choice here, but it's that's a lot that has to stay healthy that, that has been getting hurt over the last couple of years. So this is a hard choice. Um, Two teams I would pick for two totally different reasons here. And, I mean, there's some, like I said, there's some reasons to doubt the Eagles because the injuries. There's some reasons to doubt the Colts, too. They started off a little slow last year. 
Um, you know, then they went on a streak. What happens this year? You know, is the streak going to continue pretty much? You know, the, it wasn't a crazy winning streak, but for the most part, winning, uh, the chances of winning each week were high. You know, is that, does that continue? Does Luck stay healthy? I mean, I expect him to. A lot of players that played well last year that we did not expect to, that really weren't supposed to, to be honest. Do, do those players continue to play like that? So there's some doubt with the Colts too, even though they're definitely the favorites. Um, to win that division, to... Mm, Man, you know, I, I sometimes doubt the Eagles to stay 100% healthy. Really, it's on Wentz. You know, if some of the secondary gets hurt, they got some depth. Um, but there's really only one team they should be battling. The Colts have three teams to battle. I really think that. So I'll pick the Eagles here, even though I'm not – there's a lot of, been a lot of hype going around lately about Wentz winning the MVP and this team going back to the Super Bowl. I'm not doubting that whatsoever. Great coaching staff, some great players. It's just – it's I don't I don't want to say they're going to get – anybody's going to get hurt. It's just a lot needs to happen. But I'm still picking them for this video here. So that's a tough one. So let me know your guys, the guys, your guys' thoughts on that because that's a very tough one. We can go – we can do seconds to uh, – we already saw the subscriber goal. We already saw that. You guys know the drill. Um, but we can go second to worst as well um, if anybody's interested in that. So we did a few of these videos already. We did worst to first, first to worst. Um, and then, what was it, third third to first. So some interesting ones there. Love seeing your guys' comments on these. More NFL predictions on the channel. More to come. Full coverage in season. Please subscribe if you haven't quite yet. That's going to do it for this one, though. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.